If you've ever wondered how electron carburetor works, this is the video for you. If you've never heard of electron, you're about to today. This is one badass carb that gives you advantages such as not needing to tune for elevation and temperature change. They also provide better fuel efficiency, power output, and throttle response when compared to stock carburetors. If you're interested in purchasing one of these carburetors and you'd like to support this channel, please click the link in the description to this video and it'll send you to my website where you can uh, purchase a two-stroke or four-stroke electron carburetor. All carburetors ordered through my website will ship already tuned for your specific bike, mods, and riding style per the recommended settings provided by Electron. <laughs> Here I have a 38mm H-series carburetor from Electron. I also have this 44mm cutaway carburetor, so we can look inside it and help you understand exactly how things work. On this new H-series carburetor, the mold has a 60% more aggressive venturi. What this means is that there's a steeper bore taper as you go from the slide to the spigot. This causes air to accelerate as it passes through the carburetor. What this means for performance is that you get really, really good torque and response off the bottom, as well as power gains throughout the RPM range. The new mold gives you earlier power jet activation, which provides a stronger and more tunable mid-range. A new slide design also gives you better response and idle adjustability. So the heart of the Electron carburetor is this special metering rod. And this is essentially a steel rod with a tapered grind on it. The flat side of the metering rod faces the engine. As air flows through the carburetor, it passes around the rod. An eddy current is created on the flat side of the rod. This eddy current is an area of low pressure that creates a pressure difference, ultimately picking up fuel from the float bowl. Let's drop it into the carburetor and take a closer look at some things. The metering rod goes down through the pickup tube that reaches to the bottom of the float bowl. We'll start with the idle. This is with the throttle closed, where the slide is only letting a small amount of air through. So this is where the tapered grind of the rod comes into play. At idle, there's only a very small gap between the pickup tube hole and the metering rod to let fuel by. As we open the throttle or raise the slide, the taper creates a larger gap to let fuel through. And inversely, if we close the throttle and lower the slide, that gap becomes smaller, allowing less fuel. Also, as we lift the slide, more of the flat side of the metering rod is exposed. This creates a stronger eddy current, or signal, which sucks more fuel up. Fuel travels far up on the metering rod and spreads out, which dramatically improves atomization and burn efficiency compared to a jet. Electron makes different metering rods that have varying taper grinds to best suit a wide range of bikes. The angle and depth of the grind affect how much fuel the bike will receive throughout the RPM range. The next thing that contributes to fueling is the power jet, which is activated from around half to full throttle. Within that range of about half throttle to wide open, there's enough airflow to create venturi suction through this power jet nozzle. The air passes by the opening and creates a vacuum which sucks fuel from the bottom of the bowl up through this hose and out of the nozzle. Threading in the screw closes up the needle valve, restricting fuel flow which will create a more lean mixture. Threading out the screw opens up the valve, providing more fuel flow and a more rich mixture on the top end. Electron developed the power jet in the 70s so that you can independently tune the top end from the bottom. Let's say you're going to go out and ride a lot of sand, where you're going to be holding wide open throttle, going really fast for long periods of time. It's good to have your bike running a little more rich in these scenarios to preserve your engine, keep the bike cool, and also keep it pulling hard up top. Simply unscrew that power jet needle valve and there you go, you're more rich on the top end. You can tune your metering rod to run more lean or more rich depending on your preference. To do this, you simply lengthen or shorten the rod by threading it in or out. Now picture the slide sitting at half throttle. If we shorten the rod or thread it in, a larger gap will be created for fuel to pass through the pickup tube. This will make your bike run more rich. If we lengthen the rod or thread it out, it will extend further into the pickup tube relative to the slide, which will restrict the flow of fuel through the pickup tube. In broad terms, shortening the rod will provide more fuel pickup and a richer mixture, while lengthening the rod leans it out by restricting the fuel pickup. In order to adjust your idle, you simply turn this screw in or out to mechanically raise or lower your slide. Just like on a regular carburetor, there is a choke knob which allows you to give the carb a little more fuel for easier cold starts. Here's the kicker. The carb does not need to be adjusted or tuned for different temperatures and elevations. Once it's set, you can leave it alone. 
Mind you, there are boundaries to it, but you're pretty safe riding between 40 and 100 degrees or from sea level to 10,000 feet without needing to adjust. I've done it many times and the bike runs beautifully and consistent throughout the changes. Take into account what we just went over. It all works based on the strength of that fuel pickup signal. Lower elevation or colder air is more dense. This dense air creates a stronger signal which draws more fuel up the metering rod. At higher elevation and warmer temperatures, the air is less dense. This gives a weaker fuel pickup signal which draws less fuel up the metering rod. This means that throughout temperature and elevation changes, you can run a very consistent air fuel ratio without any tuning. It's so simple yet so effective. And the absolute best part of it all, no more f***ing jets. If you do, however, want to richen or lean your tuning, it's an easy five minute trail side adjustment. It requires only a few tools, no extra parts, no jets. Simply adjust the metering rod, adjust the power jet, and you're good to go. This is truly an incredible carburetor. I've noticed huge torque gains down low, as well as better pull up top. I can put my bike into fifth gear, go down to idle speed, whack the throttle, and the thing takes off. There's no bog, no lack of response. It just hits and keeps pulling all the way up through the power band. If you're interested in purchasing one of these carburetors and you'd like to support this channel, please click the link in the description to this video and it'll send you to my website where you can uh, purchase a two-stroke or four-stroke electron carburetor. All carburetors ordered through my website will ship already tuned for your specific bike, mods, and riding style per the recommended settings provided by Electron.